You ready to go? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go too because we are going live with another episode of Get Virtual and today it's all about the arts. It's a big deal, Todd. It's July. You know what that means. Art Town. That means Art Town, which is changing into Heart Town. And so that's what today we'll focus on. I heard that. I, you know, I'm really quite interested to find out this whole story because I think this is going to be a, a great show. Uh, before we get too far into it, I think we've got another watch and win today. Uh, do you want to give people the details of what that is? Yes, absolutely. So when you watch the show, be sure to comment in the little comment section below, obviously, that <laughs> says your favorite thing about Art Town. There's over 300 plus events this year still going on, modified virtual as well. And when you do so, you are entered to win a $25 gift certificate as well as a handcrafted necklace from Bella Petunia Jewelers, all presented by Tahoe Trunk Show, which is located in Tahoe City. If you haven't visited that local gift shop, it's a super eclectic, fun joint that really, really does an incredible job showcasing the local artists and artists in the Reno Tahoe area. So again, when you watch Get Virtual right now, be sure to tune in, comment what you love most about Art Town, and it's that easy. And we'll go ahead and, and pick a winner end of the week on Friday. And, and I mean, you could probably even write, I love the poster, because the poster, <laughs> the artwork for the, for the exhibit of Art Town is a piece of art itself. You know, it's just amazing. So I think we should just bring on our first guest, who yes. probably knows a little bit about Art Town. Oliver X is so involved with everything within the artistic community in the Reno Tahoe area, and it is so amazing that he could join us and present all the wonderful things that you guys are bringing together. Thanks, Oliver. Thanks for having me, folks. Good to see you, Todd and Megan. So, 25 years Art Town's been going on. Now, you haven't been a part of this for the whole time, but you gotta admit that this has gotta be one of the most uh, interesting years out there, for sure. Yes, we've had to pivot in light of the pandemic and its impact on our um, usual programming at places like the Robert Z. Hawkins Amphitheater, uh, the Midtown Concert Series, and of course at our home base, Wingfield Park. And so in light of that, it, we made an exciting pivot and this year in place of Art Town's large summer festival gatherings, the people are the headliners as, we, as Art Town becomes Heart Town a regional campaign to um, is celebrate the essential role that art plays in our lives, in our hearts, and in our communities. So we've reached out to the general public and asked them to show us their, their art through their heart and their heart through their art. I love that. Art is such a healing component to everything that's it going is. on right now. And I think Todd said it best in a previous episode that if there's one thing that has come out of this pandemic, is it really showcasing how how much we need um, that cultural appreciation through the arts, right? Um, a, I agree. I a agree. Uh, Beth, Beth McMillan, our executive director, uh, truly believes that more now more than ever, we need art to uplift us, to restore our hope, and to and to heal. And art really does inspire community. And that and every July, this is day seven of our town. Art Town really kicks off summer, in my opinion, for Reno. That's amazing. I think we've got a small little, uh, small little video clip I can show, and I think Beth was on there. So let's see if we can, if I can pull that up. See how good I am at doing this. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. Start it over. Oh, oh let me go back here. <laughs> there it is. There you go. I'm Beth McMillan, and this year, in place of Art Town's large summer festival gatherings. The people are the headliners as Uptown becomes a regional campaign in celebration of the essential role art plays in our hearts, in our lives, and in our I love that. That's that's so true, right? And and to, yeah. to be able to make the people in the community a part of it as well, um, mm -hmm. it, it brings everything full circle. Now, maybe highlight some of those events that you're able to host, both in a modified atmosphere as well as some of those events that are still going on, both safely and social distancing. Yes, we have. We really have a full calendar. Um, you know, of course, it's impossible in a usual year, typical year. Um, to get out in 31 days to 500 plus events, but um, <laughs> you know it, it's it's been sizably reduced based on the, you know the pandemic. But we've been able to still 
uh, mount between 250 and 300 events this year. And we've been adding events as they come in for different organizations like the Generator and other uh, arts partners in the area. So we're very excited to be able to, to promote the fact that, for instance, the Sparks Museum and Cultural Center has a month long exhibit for our town called Paddles and Pallets, a public art project. And that's available at 814 Victoria Avenue in the heart of Sparks. Um, and that's an ongoing one. Every single day, Monday through Friday at 930, uh, families and, and, and especially kids who want to learn new things, reskilling, um, we're, we're featuring a Discover the Art series, which typically would be at McKinley Arts, but we've made a pivot to do all of these 24 um, webinars as webinars and tutorials that parents can interact with their kids and, and do things all with, instead of going out and buying expensive paints, we're asking people to find materials that they can use at home to craft and do some of these um, our art projects. So it's really exciting. We want to thank our, um, our outreach and education director, Rosie, who's done so, such a great job um, kind of learning on the fly and being able to uh, get these videos recorded from artists that are exceptional and dedicated to the community. We're so excited. That's every day on the Art Town website at arttown.org. 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. Oh. Discover the arts. Um, gosh, you, there's, so many, there's so many more we could go into. But. Now, you were, you were saying that, I, I, I bet you could. <laughs> now, you were <laughs> yeah. trying to run about a 50-50 mix of uh, virtual and actual exhibits. Is, is this true still where you're kind of at? Yeah, that's about right. Now, again, um, so, you know, some of those numbers are skewed because People have been forced to, because of venue closures, uh, pivot at the last minute. For instance, even our, um, our established events at Wild River Grill are being affected by the pandemic. So um, the, the, the dinner concert series that is happening on the patio, that has been suspended temporarily. Hopefully they, they're going to be able to present again. But tonight would have been Spanish guitar virtual, so Milton Merlos. So we hope that Chuck and our friends at Wild River Grill can can, can be able to present again because there's so much great artistry. 10 more live events would have been there. So we're, we're adjusting on the fly and making uh, you know, those, the changes needed in the ever-changing health environment for America. And, and, and before we bring on our next guest, who's also part of Art Town, I'd love for you to showcase the artwork for this year, as well as some of that incredible swag that you were wearing that is for oh, sale on thank your you. website. Absolutely. Thank you for saying that. We have every year our town, you know, has its yearly t-shirt. And this year, our t-shirt was designed by our poster designer, as is per usual, um, Mexican artist Yvette Valenzuela. And she's an incredible artist. And we used her poster to inspire the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That same image appears on our art town 32 ounce crowler available at the brewer's cabinet. So all of these <laughs> products can be um, purchased in the community at the brewer's cabinet and it's selling well. And I'm really excited to have the support of, of our partner and collaborator, the brewer's cabinet and all of their affiliated um, bars who are selling this beer. Um, and a portion of each sale goes to Art Town. So we're so stoked. You can get Art Town merchandise at Art Town at 528 West First Street between Bell and um, Ralston in the heart of downtown. And we also have masks that I didn't grab, but there is a, there's Art Town masks, t-shirts, posters, and an incredible Art Town beer. And this is the, a Vienna style lager that is light, low ABV, a session beer. That means you can drink it at lunch, still go back after um, putting in a breath mint um, and go back to work. And you're all, you're all, you won't be drunk. You'll just be happy. But and that's, you'll also be, that's the advantage of the mask wearing now. You know, you can all get <laughs> powered up with that. Yeah, Listen, I want to bring on our next guest, uh, not because we're talking about drinking. I, that, <laughs> that, our next guest, uh, it's Wilbur D. May Museum with Samantha. And uh, yes, I did skip over your last name, Samantha. I thought I had it down. Uh, <laughs> Suzorka. Uh, <laughs> Samantha Sazorka. Sazorka, that's yep. it. Yes. But 
Samantha, you uh, there at the Obadi May Museum, you guys actually have an exhibit in this, and you guys just recently opened, and you were saying earlier, this is like, this is really special to you, and you want to make sure you can still do this, correct? Well, we've been closed like museums all over Nevada and the rest of the country. We've been closed for months, and um, reopening was something we, we took very seriously. We wanted to do it in a safe way, uh, and we really reopened uh, to coincide with this exhibit. This is one of the few events that we kept on our calendar for 2020 um, because it meant a lot to us to one to be a part of art town and then to be open for the community as a place to come as a respite from this uh, world we're living in right absolutely and maybe tell us a little bit about what that reopening has looked like uh it's been it's been a lot of work uh, uh you know there's no uh playbook for this. We're all <laughs> figuring it out at the same time. And um, uh, we made sure that we had a really strong reopening plan that would keep our staff safe, but also our visitors safe. Uh, and so we uh, have masks that we're giving away for free. We have hand sanitizer for free. We have signs. We have limited capacity and, uh, and some uh, restricted access in the building, uh, smaller uh, uh, capacity in the rooms and um, just really encouraging social distancing and so so far it's been going really well we were very happy it felt really good to be back open to the community and to have this beautiful exhibit what a great way to reopen exactly because uh, you probably had to let a lot of your exhibits go uh, through the year so it's really cool that you can have this one uh, as something to draw people in right when you guys reopen uh, Absolutely, and it's a beautiful exhibit. I, I think I might have a couple pictures of it. Let's see if I can pull something up here. Um, up now, your, your exhibit is called America the Beautiful, correct? And perfect maybe for opening in July mm -hmm. and for Art Town. Uh, it's called America the Beautiful, and it is a collection of new works by the Latimer Art Club, uh, inspired by lyrics from America the Beautiful, the song. So all of the works are organized by the lyric that they coincide with. That's well, awesome. Can you walk through and kind of sing the song as you go through? <laughs> I will not sing it for you. <laughs> 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 but the Latimer Art Club directed its artists to, to look at the lyrics and ponder them and uh, find the line, the stanza that really resonated with them and then paint to it whatever uh, came to them. And so there's, um, you know, it, for Amber Waves of Grain, for Purple Mountain Majesties. Um, What's that behind you? You got one right behind you. This is from Sea to Shining Sea. There and, you go. Uh, as you might expect, there's a lot of Tahoe inspired works in there. It's really beautiful. And it's all mixed media. There's a lot of oil uh, paintings, some watercolor. Uh, it's just a really lovely mix. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Latimer Art Club, but their, um, their thing is plein air painting, which is painting outdoors. Oh, nice. So all the works were painted outdoors. That's beautiful. Now, see, see Oliver would like mm -hmm. to see the exhibition. <laughs> what does that walkthrough look like as a guest wanting to, to go see this? Well, we reopened with our normal hours for now. Uh, we're monitoring the situation as things change, but we're open with our normal hours Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, we're not doing appointments, so we're, we're just letting people in as they come uh, and then monitoring the, the group size and the space and asking people to wait if they need to for, for there to be more distance. Uh, again, we're giving out masks if people don't have them. We have barriers in place. Um, but people can come and the, re the reception has been wonderful since we reopened. Uh, so people can come and look at the art, they can browse the gift store, and then of course go into the permanent May collection as well. Now the May Museum is actually, I was actually surprised how big that museum is. Um, when you drive by, it looks like a little little house and you kind of go in there and you're like, wow, it's huge. So, I mean, you probably can handle a pretty large capacity very safely with no problem with social distancing. We could, but we're playing it safe. <laughs> Good. That's the air on the side of caution. Right, right. Um, Oliver. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Oliver, when was the last time you were you were there at the May Museum paying them a visit? 
I literally went there today and was rebuffed because they're Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to four. And that was my uh, news to me and I should have known, but I want to give a shout out to Linda Walker of the Latimer Art Club. She's amazing. And also to Samantha. And I'm going to say your name, Samantha. Um, <laughs> Suzorka. Suzorka. Okay. Got it right. But anyway, um, it is one of the jewels of Reno. And two years ago, I met Samantha um, when Dragon Lights came through. And that was a riveting and completely transformative installation that it literally took you back to childhood. Samantha, thank you so much for hosting that, you guys. Um, it, it, it's such a great resource. Please get out to the park and enjoy the resources on the park grounds. Can I tell you a secret about Dragon Lights? <gasps> yes, please. We love secrets. Well, <laughs> a secret that we'll share with everyone watching. <laughs> right. uh, you know, we were supposed to bring Dragon Lights back this year. Um, yeah. And that was an early uh, casualty of the COVID situation. Um, when right. that started ramping up, it was, it was so obvious that we would not be able to um, host that exhibit here. Um, but we are moving forward with bringing it next year. Oh, awesome. That's great. So, Oliver, besides America the Beautiful, which is by far probably the one exhibit everyone has to see at the May Museum for art, um, is there any other, like, try to narrow it down to, like, maybe two or three that you absolutely think that people should really check out? Yes, I, that's going to be easy. Uh, <laughs> movies in the park this year is Movies at the Drive-In, at the Westland El Rancho Drive-In, and get this, you get your tickets early, and there's free popcorn. Oh. Free popcorn, and, and you can, you get family-friendly uh, movies. This week is The Goonies. So last Friday, they only allow 300 vehicles. So you have to register ASAP, and you can go to www.ciffnv.org. That's ciffnv.org, and reserve your, your car spot, and get your car pass. And, they, and as a thank you, they give you free popcorn family-friendly, safe COVID environment, and uh, you can enjoy a, a classic. Love it, love it. Love and that's, that's the 25th anniversary, by the way, of Movies in the Park. So they were able to pivot to and adjust, and um, we're, we're super proud of them and, and want to thank Emily Scott Golden for staying the course and doing something ex exceptional this year. I'm so excited for them. So I gotta say, I mean, everyone's, uh, I think it's amazing from what uh, May Museum has done to what you guys have done to pivot to keep Art Town going 25 years. And I mean, I think there are a lot of people are thinking it was not gonna happen. So all yes. of your props to you and your team to make sure that it could go on and all the stuff that you guys do. Um, let's get some contact information. Oliver, for more information about Art Town, all the exhibits, everything else, website, Facebook, what do you need to do? Yes, you, know, you for, to check out the listings that are available, you can go to our Facebook page for daily updates or go to arttown.org and you can search by date and a whole drop down menu um, of available shows that are ongoing workshops or daily will show up or just go to our homepage and scroll down and you'll see a huge um, variety of, of events, both that have happened and that are coming. So it's exciting for us. We're still, we're still happening. Art Town was one of the few festivals nationwide that wasn't forced to cancel due to COVID. So we feel really blessed to have so much community support. And we want to thank you, uh, Getaway, Todd and, and Megan for supporting Art Town. Of course, thank you. I mean, you're giving us content to be able to highlight and talk about and, and, and be able to amplify. So this is exciting. And really quick, through Art Town's website, is that the portal where people can actually reserve space or will it link to the various pages? If you want to go to movies at the drive-in, movies in the park, uh, you'll have to go to uh, ciffnv.org. Okay. But otherwise, our complete listings of the general events for Art Town, both virtual and live, are at arttown.org. And that's A-R-T-O-W-N.org, no double T. No, no. One T. <laughs> yeah. one. Samantha, two questions. One, what is your favorite piece about the May Museum that you think everyone should see when they come in? I am putting you on the spot here. And then, of course, all your social media contacts and everything else. Asking a curator of a museum their favorite piece is like asking parent what their favorite child is. 
I know that. A horrible <laughs> question. Because <laughs> I love every artifact in our collection dearly. Right. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, we have we have some really incredible um, Greek and Roman terracotta statues that date back to the sixth century C BCE, uh, which is just. Uh, incredible those are by far the oldest items in the collection and so they're just so to see them up close um something that old and and, and to be in such good condition or it's just so incredible to have this collection in reno we're so lucky um to have it here um so i guess although everything's amazing <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that's just before art town started back there in six <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah, and the museum has been a part of Reno since 1985. And we've, wow. um, you know, really committed to not just sharing Wilbur May's collection, but bringing in and exhibiting uh, local and regional artists and other traveling exhibits and just being a, a place for the community to come and um, be curious and learn. And, um, yeah, so we're really happy to, to be here. Uh, and then, of course, our website is maycenter.com and we're on Facebook, Reno May Center. And so we're working on our modified schedule for the rest of 2020. We had to rearrange some things. Uh, we're, we have some exciting things in the works. So I'll, I'll announcements coming soon. So keep an yeah. eye on our website for that. One other thing, and I, I, I'm not trying to take all your time here, Megan, but I, I got to give a quick shout out and a thank you to the May Foundation. Uh, yes. You no, know, you guys have been a major part of, of Reno and personally, Every time I got off the elevator on the pediatric ward and I saw the May Foundation uh, pediatric ward, uh, I felt Ooh. confident that my daughter was in a good spot and I knew there's a lot of support behind that. So, uh, you know, thank you for all that you do as far as the May Foundation does as well as the museum. If that's not a reason to visit the museum, nothing is. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Get Virtual for all the amazing content, everything you're doing in the community. You are reviving the arts and everyone's spirits during this, these, these challenging times. And so appreciate all that you do. And we'll be sure to promote it wherever and whenever we can. Check out, again, all of these wonderful things going on. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. There's plenty of things to see and do here in the Reno Tahoe area, you know, and, 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 and safely as well as socially distanced. And, you know, and, and I still say, you know, that the fact that the art is really an area that you can find solace in this, this ever-changing environment we have to realize there's people that can be creative and, and have that, that that's good for the soul, you know, and the fact that the art town has worked so hard to make this happen and even the May Museum to make sure that they could still do that exhibit. That's one exhibit they definitely wanted to make happen. So, you know, major props to those guys. Absolutely. What another amazing show. Gotta love it. And again, <laughs> if you enjoyed the show, be sure to enter our Watch to Win prize, which is presented by Trunk Show, which is a $25 gift certificate to their eclectic, awesome gift shop, really representing the local artists and artisans of the Reno Tahoe area, as well as a handmade um, necklace from Bella Petunia Jewelry by the owner herself, Jacqueline Wozniak, and, or Wozinki. <laughs> That's another last name that I have a challenging time pronouncing. Yeah. Wozinki. It could be Wozniak. Maybe she's related. Who knows? That would be great, right? <laughs> um, again, comment your favorite thing about Art Town as you watch this video, and a winner will be chosen this Friday. Other than that, that wraps up this episode of Get Virtual. And again, if you like what you see, Todd, maybe this is your spiel about sponsoring a show. That's right. Uh, we're always looking for sponsors. You know, reach out to us at Reno Tau at planmygetaway.com. Uh, we're looking for watch and win sponsors. We're looking for all kinds of people that want to contribute. You have a great story. Reach out to us. Reno Tau at planmygetaway.com. Uh, tagline, get virtual. Love it. Heart Town is Reno.